I'm Lyle Maloney. We're in Krakora, just outside Limerick City. We're milking 170 cows here. The milking plot is 51 hectares, and there's probably the same, a little bit more of outside blocks. We run the calves and the heifers out there, and we have some red clover silage ground as well. Milking roughly about 500 kilos of milk a year, with a very compact cabin. It will be 90% in six weeks. So the farm can be broken into two sides. One side will be fairly free draining, a little over 60% of the farm, and then the other 47 will be heavier kind of peaty clay. When I'm picking grasses, I'd even pick grasses for different types of soil in different places on the farm. We're under huge pressure to improve the sustainability credentials and reduce the emissions we have from agriculture. Sustainability is the buzzword at the moment around farming. We're doing a good lot of different things to reduce emissions on the farm. If you start at the ground up, with the soil test at the start of the year, make sure we're using all our fertilizers efficiently and they're going where they need to go. In terms of our grass-based dairy systems and beef production systems, clover has an awful lot to offer. We're using clover to reduce some of the chemicalization we're using. The big win with clover is uh, if you get it right, you can really reduce nitrogen. It's difficult, but it's worth the win, like the cost of fertilizer now. Soil health, the depth the roots will go to get moisture, and the way the cows process it. There's huge benefits from an animal performance perspective with red clovers, which can tolerate hard grazing. Uh, you know, that's going to be a game changer going forward. We are seeing definitely a huge uptake in terms of the number of mixtures which we are asked for, which have a higher clover content than what we would have used in the past. So, you know, we're seeing a growing market there. It's in four years now. Red clover is as persistent as it is the first day it was put in. So from an agricultural productive perspective, having more resilient systems is going to be crucial as we're faced with increased challenges from weather and, and climate change perspective. The grasses that are there are very good at the moment and it's working fantastically well for us.